Okay, so for this question, we are going to find the dimension of a rectangle so that its perimeter is 100 meters, but we want the area to be as large as possible. So here we go. Let's go ahead and put down what we know first. Of course, we have a rectangle, so let's draw a picture to help us see it. And we don't know the sides yet. Let's go ahead and put it down as variables. I'm just going to label this as y, and in that case, this will also be y, and this and that will be the same. I'll just put them down as x and x. First of all, we know parameter, which is just p, which is going to be 2 of the x plus 2 of the y. Right? That's the formula for the parameter. And of course, we know the parameter is 100. In another word, 2x plus 2y is equal to 100, like this. And now, this is what we want to know. We are trying to get the largest possible area, right? So we want the maximum of the area. And of course, if you look at the area of the rectangle, the area is just going to be this right here, x times y. That's it. But as we can see, we have two unknowns here, two variables right here. No good. But it's okay. Look here and isolate one of them. Let's just go ahead and isolate y. I'm going to minus 2x on both sides, so we get 2y equals 100 minus 2x and divide everybody by 2, so y is equal to 50 minus x. Very nice, huh? Then put this right there. So we see a equals x times, and the y is just 50 minus x. Very nice. And this now is just a function of x. I will just call this to be x, a of x. A of x. Huh? And this is quadratic, but we'll do calculus, even though we have a nice formula for that. Anyway, you see that we can actually multiply this out. This is 50x minus x squared, and let's go ahead and do our derivative. But look at this form. Differentiating this, we get 50. Differentiating that, we get minus 2x. And of course, set this to be 0. And solve this, right? Do whatever you need to do, you will get x is equal to 25, and that's going to give you the critical number. And that's very nice. Have a look. When we have the x value here, and this is the a prime, 25, right here. Pick a number less than 25, let's say 10. Put it here, you get a positive, right? So this right here is positive. Pick a number bigger than 25, you get, let's say, 27, you get negative. So this right here tells us our function is going to be increasing and then decreasing. So that means right here we have the maximum, right? So I will just indicate that this right here is indeed a maximum. Now the question is asking us to find the dimension, so we just have to find out what y should be as well. We know x is 25, and that means y is equal to 50 minus x, and of course that's just going to be 50 minus 25, and that means y is equal to 25, just like that. So this is how we can answer the question. We want the rectangle to be 25 by 25. So I'll just say 25 meters, because we're talking about length right here, by 25 meters. So this right here is it.